well padded and enclosed in a steel cage, the sculpture of a World War I New Zealand soldier was lifted by crane and returned to his rightful place on top of the cenotaph yesterday morning. Apart from a technical adjustment, in which fibreglass that had seeped into holes designed to accommodate locator pins in the base of the statue had to be drilled out, the return of the soldier went to plan. It has been almost two years since the sculpture was removed and nearly a year to the day since structural repair work on the monument began, says Mr Van Wyck. A huge number of contractors and workers have been involved in this project, says Mr Van Wyck. It's something many of us will never get the opportunity to do again. Mr Van Wyck says he wants to thank all people involved in the project. They pushed themselves out with this work, he says. There were some damp, dark, tight conditions to work in at times. And I'm confident I'll sleep well tonight. Landscaping around the cenotaph is expected to be ready in time to commemorate the centenary of the Anzac landings in Gallipoli on April 25th.